The Battle of Refugia was a battle fought on March 12th and 15th, 1836. On March 7th, 1836, Louis Ayers, a resident of the small town of Refugio, a town 25 miles south of Goliad, brought Goliad commander Colonel James W. Fanion news about the town. The week before, a group of Tejanos and Guaranqua Indians, who supported centralism under the command of Captain Carlos de la Graza, had ransacked the town and made camp just outside the town. Several pro-independence families, including Ayer's wife and children, remained in the Refugio area, afraid that if they stayed, they would be captured by the Mexican army, or if they left, they would be harmed by De La Graza's men. Fanion agreed to send troops to evacuate the settlers as soon as oxen and carts were available to assist with the transport. Three days later, on March 10th, the army's carts returned from Port Lavaca with supplies for the garrison. As soon as the supplies were unloaded, Fanion called for volunteers to go to Refugio, and on March 11th, he would send Captain Amon B. King to lead 28 men with most of the carts to evacuate the settlers. They would arrive that evening and camp at Mission Nuestro Señora de Refugio, where some of the families had taken refuge. The Mexican Catholic Church had abandoned the mission some years earlier. No priests or other church officials were stationed at the old mission. The church was in bad condition and in need of repairs. Irish settlers from the Refugio area repaired most of the damages and would repair pews and other interior furnishings and furniture. Although these repairs were crude and very basic, it made it possible to hold services when a priest could be found. On March 12, 1836, King led his troops to the ranch of Esteban Lopez, where the family of Louis Ayers was staying. Before leaving Refugio with the evacuees, King stubbornly sought to punish Graza and his rancheros. He underestimated Graza's strength and resolve, however, and the Texans would be ambushed by Graza's men and managed to escape and return to Lopez's ranch and escorted the families back to the Refugio mission. Elements of Reyes' advanced cavalry arrived in Refugio shortly after King and the families returned to the mission. Mexican troops and De La Graza's men surrounded the mission, and King would send a messenger to Fanion asking for reinforcements. In what proved to be a disastrous move, Fanion dispatched Lieutenant Colonel William Ward and the Georgia Battalion to relieve King's command. Urrea, meanwhile, heard of their presence and marched a flying column of 300 Mexican troops to Refugio, hoping to overtake the Texians. On March 14th, Ward defended his position at the Refugio mission while King's men fought from a stand of trees. The two sides fought until dark, with Reyes soldiers suffering heavy casualties. On March 15th, King led his men in an independent escape attempt but were overtaken and surrendered due to the lack of ammunition. They were marched back as prisoners to the mission, now occupied by Reyes forces. The next day, King and all of his company were executed, except for two Germans and Louis T. Ayers. Ward and the Georgia Battalion attempted to escape to Victoria, where they expected to link up with the balance of Fanion's command. After wandering the coastal prairie for several days, the Georgia Battalion reached Victoria, only to find it under the control of the Mexican army. They then headed for Lavaca Bay, where they would end up surrounded by Mexican troops. Short on ammunition and supplies, and with no hope of rescue, the majority of Ward's men voted to surrender under good terms. Only then were they made aware of Colonel Fanion's surrender, and they were marched back to Goliad to face the same fate as the rest of Fanion's command. <laughs>